Now, when you look at the anatomy, the supraspinatus runs through the valley of death. <laughs> this is a very uh, strange and difficult anatomical area because this is the area where the shoulder is moving backwards and forwards and up and down and all over the place with this poor tendon running through this very narrow space. And because of this design, when you look at rotator cuff problems, 90% of the time, the one that's injured is the supraspinatus. It is by far the commonest muscle to be injured. Sorry, when I say muscle, I mean muscle and tendon, because it's usually the tendon which is sliding through this area, the subacromial space, and therefore, if once the supraspinatus becomes damaged, then as a consequence of that, you will almost invariably get impingement, which will then damage the sac that sits over this area, the bursa, the bursa will become inflamed and you end up with the commonest picture which is supraspinatus tendinopathy, damage to the supraspinatus tendon, the overlying bursa is, is inflamed, the function of the shoulder is no longer normal and you get impingement and ongoing damage to the supraspinatus tendon and bursa every time it comes up. So this is the commonest presentation that moves you away from optimal function of the shoulder.